The Carolina Panthers are in the OTAs phase of the offseason, and honestly, it's been refreshing how transparent they've been about the quarterback situation so far. Everybody seems to be on the same page and clear how this is going to go, and everybody seems pretty cool with it, at least on the outside. So far, I haven't detected any drama or any tension between the guys or the coaches or between management and the players and the coaches. So with that being the case, frankly, it's been kind of boring. Bryce Young says all the right things. He's so polished. He's got the politician thing down. You want your franchise quarterback to be a politician nowadays. Saying a lot of words with not much substance. The Russell Wilson experience, the Tom Brady experience. Bryce Young's got that piece of it down. Listen to his press conferences he's had over the last couple of weeks. Not a lot of interesting coming out of Bryce Young's mouth, and clearly that is intentional. He's mastered that. You've got the coaches being pretty straightforward that Bryce Young's going to get more reps than Andy Dalton is. The intent is to try and have him starting games, even though right now Andy Dalton is listed as the starting quarterback. Andy Dalton, he's completely on board with getting Bryce Young ready to start, understanding he's not the answer. He is a bridge, and that might be a very short bridge. That bridge might be, I'm not starting any games with the Carolina Panthers. Andy Dalton gets this. He signed on for it after the Panthers traded for the number one pick. That's when Andy Dalton was signed, the week after that. And here he was speaking to the, the role he's going to play. I know the situation that, that we're in here. I knew coming in that we were going to have the first pick and we were going to take a quarterback. And, you know, for me, that doesn't change my mindset of how I'm going about every single day. You know, I know the reality that this thing is going to be Bryce's at some point. Um, and right now it's, you know, for me, it's to go just be me out there. Yeah, you know, I think with part of that, it's helping Bryce learn the NFL game and the mechanics of, getting in and out of the huddle and all the little things that you need to learn going into it. This isn't Big Ben taking issue with Mason Rudolph being drafted. This isn't Brett Favre doing a similar thing when Rodgers was drafted in the first round. He's been there before. A couple of years ago, the Bears drafted Justin Fields after signing Andy Dalton, and he helped bring Fields along. He's done this before. He understands his role. Frank Reich knows that Matt Corral isn't long for the Carolina Panthers. Now, you got to be more delicate with that than Dalton can be talking about the issue of the obvious, hey, the number one pick is eventually going to be starting over him. But this is how delicate Frank was in talking about Matt Corral. I had a great conversation you know, with Matt the other day, and I you know, obviously won't go into those private conversations, but Matt's got a, he's got a great attitude about it. Um, his perspective is what it needs to be, and you know, my only two cents that I would say would be it's a, you got to play the long game. You know, you got to play the long game. It's a long season. It's a long career. You know, just, do, just do the next right thing. You know, get better every day. The reality is Matt Corral is Will Greer 2.0. Drafted in the third round by a coaching staff that was about to become a lame duck coaching staff. Will Greer was taken in the 2019 draft. Ron Rivera's last year in the third round. And then after the new coaching staff came in, they had different plans at quarterback that didn't involve a third round draft pick. And in Carolina's case, they just traded up to take a quarterback number one overall. They're not going to keep three quarterbacks into the regular season. They moved off Jacob Eason over the weekend, doing Matt Corral a solid, saying, hey, we're going to give you the second half probably of our preseason games, if not more than that. This is going to be your chance to audition for other teams to potentially be a backup and prove your worth. And Frank Reich, he has the bona fides to say, listen, I'm not asking something of you that I haven't already experienced myself. I spent my entire career as a backup in the NFL. You can make the most of it just like I did. This is the situation that you're in. Think about the long call.